Welcome back to 90 Days to Fitness. You're with Danny Kaz, certified personal trainer and naturopathic doctor. We are doing a series of videos on fat loss, and today I want to talk about insulin and how insulin works in the body and how it can either make you fat or make you lean. Insulin is one of the most powerful hormones in the body. It is a builder, so it's going to build lean muscle tissue if you utilize it right, or it is going to build a lot of fat tissue in your body. Insulin will be released from the beta cells and the pancreatic function of your pancreas. Insulin is released when you take in any type of carbohydrate, simple, complex, but the amount of insulin that is released will depend on what type of carbohydrate you've taken in and how much of that carbohydrate you've taken in in terms of calorie form. Different carbs will release different amounts of insulin. That depends on a lot of factors. It depends on what's the current pancreatic function of the individual, the current state of health of the beta cells that are inside the pancreas, and the list goes on and on and on. I don't want to get too extensive on that. But your insulin levels and your glucose metabolism in your body is related to everything. When we talked about cells before with the receptor sites for insulin to get into, you have to have a sensitivity where you have a lot of receptor sites for your body to create insulin sensitivity so it can utilize insulin very well. I've seen people who can take in a tremendous amount of carbohydrate and stay lean. Blows my mind, even into the 30s, 40s, and 50 years of age. I've seen some people, they can just look at a carbohydrate and get fat, where their insulin sensitivity is just in the tank. They have very, very poor pancreatic function, and that's when you start tapping into the type 2 and type 1 diabetes, which we'll get to in a second. So bear with me because this is one of the most important videos you're going to listen to when it comes to fat loss, okay? Insulin is a monster or it's your best friend. It just depends how you learn how to master utilizing it. It's almost like you're the one who can pull the trigger on how much insulin you want to release and how much you don't, okay? So when we go back to receptor sites on the cell, here's the cell membrane, fatty acid tails, outer membrane, inner membrane, receptor sites that look like these Y's again. When you take in carbohydrates, you get an insulin response. The insulin has to be drawn into the receptor site and drawn into here. Now, just like anything else, if you're overworked and you're overtired and you overtrain and you keep eating your muscles down and you're not getting any results, you're overstressing a certain tissue. You're overstressing a certain gland, organ, a system. If you overstress your pancreas, by slamming yourself with too much insulin or calling upon it to release too much insulin from too much carbohydrates, your brain, your central nervous system, which controls everything, is going to shut down pancreatic function, which will shut down receptor site function at the cellular level. So either you're not getting enough insulin being produced, so your cell receptors are going to be kind of minimal, you're not going to be able to get that insulin into the cell, or it's just desensitized so the insulin then bounces off. This is type 2, people. Right here. Type 2 diabetic. Okay? Your type 1, when your insulin is no longer being produced, it's at zero. And that is type 1 diabetes. Okay? 80 to 90 percent of all diabetic cases in America are type 2. They're giving them drugs, and what do the drugs do? The exact same thing that caused the pancreatic dysfunction in the first place. They start slamming the pancreas to trigger the beta cells to secrete more insulin so your body can try to get those sugars out of the bloodstream or in, uh, from the bloodstream into your cells because you're too low. This is usually a, a low blood sugar situation. This is usually a high blood sugar situation, okay? But focusing on this, because most people are type 2, you have to learn to control your insulin. You have to learn to control your meals. Last video, we talked about creating insulin sensitivity by eating smaller, more frequent meals, which lead to fat loss. Why? Because it controls insulin. If you're eating smaller, more frequent meals, you're not going to be taking in, hopefully, enough carbohydrate to spike your insulin too much, which causes too much stress on your pancreas. Too much stress on the pancreas, brain shuts it down, you become insulin desensitized. This is over a period of time. You cannot keep slamming your pancreas and expecting to get lean. It's impossible, okay? 
Smaller, more frequent meals, one of your keys to fat loss, one of your keys to optimizing insulin function, one of your keys to creating insulin sensitivity. This is the key right here. You gotta be insulin sensitive. You will be a monster athlete when you master this. This will take you and control inflammation, help you recover from training like you can't even believe. Learn about this. This is so important. There's a receptor site on every single type of cell in your body for insulin, therefore insulin affects every cell, every system, every organ, every gland in your body. It's glucose metabolism. Supplements, we talked about fat loss before. The astaxanthins, creatines, carnitines, anything that should help to shuttle fat into the muscle cells will help with insulin sensitivity because you can decrease your carbs, still have energy, and have certain supplements that help you stay lean because you're controlling your insulin. Another supplement is chromium and vanadium or vanadyl sulfate. Chromium is an actual part of the insulin molecule. If you're chromium deficient, you're not going to make enough insulin, you'll be desensitized. 200 micrograms or Mickey G's we call them, MCG's of chromium a day or 400 a day are usually good for people with type 2. I've heard uh, Dr. Uh, Rosedale, who's big time with type 1 diabetics, he'll give type 1 diabetics who basically aren't secreting insulin at all. He'll give them up to 1,200 MCGs of chromium a day, and he's seen, in certain cases, people's pancreas is turned back on, they start producing insulin again, and he has them on like a zero sugar diet. Because if, you're, if you can't control your sugars, and you're a type 1 diabetic, and your sugars are high, why are you even eating sugar? You don't need to. Just cut them off, go on a high protein, vegetable, and fat diet, and watch what happens. Um, right thinking, this is huge. For years and years and years, I've been training people for over 20 years now. They'll come in, I want to lose weight, I want to lose weight, I want to lose weight. And they walk around every single day with this computerized brain pattern of thinking, saying, I need to lose weight, I need to lose weight, I need to lose weight. And the brain doesn't even understand that. I'm not going to get too much into this, but the bottom line is this. You are constantly thinking yourself into weight gain. What you need to, let, what you need to do is learn more of the physiology Learn more about supplements, learn more about controlling insulin, learn more about eating more smaller frequent meals and forget about losing weight. I want you to forget about losing weight. All I want you to say to yourself is that I am a lean, mean machine. I am strong and I'm lean, I'm strong and I'm lean, and I want you to repeat it every single day. I'm strong and lean. I don't care if you're 500 pounds. Start saying it to yourself. Start saying it to yourself over and over again. Constantly learn, like I just said, learn about this stuff. Look at our videos. We're doing this for you to get healthier and be consistent. Constantly learn, be consistent with your supplements, be consistent with your small and more frequent meals, be consistent with your thinking, be consistent in telling yourself that you're lean and mean, be consistent in controlling your insulin levels. Here's a perfect example. This will help you with your fat loss. Let's say this represents how much carbohydrate is stored in the body. It's about three quarters full, okay? You've taken in carbohydrate and your body's storing up, it's about three quarters full. You've depleted a little bit. But then the average person comes in, they keep taking in carbs, and they keep releasing insulin. So they're loading up on carbs, they're loading up on carbs, they're loading up on carbs, they're loading up on carbs. And the next thing you know, what happens? You're fully loaded right to the top. You can't take in any more carbohydrate. If you can see that, it's right at the top. But if you keep taking any carbs, keep coming in, what happens? Spillover. What happens to the spillover? What does your body do with it? It enzymatically turns it into... This is an insulin desensitized situation. You're constantly loading on the carbs. Get off the refined sugars. Get on your fruits and vegetables. Use those as your carbohydrate sources. Eat lean proteins and fats, and you will get lean. Think about it. Constantly learn about it, and be consistent about it. It's hard. Thank you for listening to 90 Days to Fitness. Remember, there are no shortcuts.